income tax is coming and telling that boss when it comes to clubbing of income certain incomes can be earned by other persons but i can also tax it in my hand i can also tax it in my hand why will i tax it in my hand because i gave it to the other person for cheating income tax for cheating income tax examples are transfer of income without transferring the asset what have i done i have transferred income not to transfer my asset which means i told someone that i'll give you the fd interest but i did not transfer the fd amount is fully taxable in my hands who's hands transferrs angle in the transferrs angle please understand when you are transferring income and not transferring the asset i don't care whether it is revocable transfer or irrevocable transfer because the only thing which is getting transferred is income the only thing which is getting transferred is your income i don't care whether it is revocable or irrevocable it is always taxable in the hands of transferrs i am saying no no rahul i have not transferred income i have transferred the asset then they are coming and saying boss if it is a revocable transfer of asset then also it is taxable in your hands what have i done i have transferred the asset in that case also it is taxable in my hands only if it is revocable transfers i am saying no no rahul it is irrevocable transfer then i'll say not taxable then i'll say not taxable but 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 if i find out that the benefit of that irrevocable transfer is coming to either me directly or indirectly then also it is taxable in my hands then also it is taxable in my hands and please extremely be careful about this fact it doesn't matter what amount of benefit i'm getting even if i'm getting 1% of benefit the whole of the income will become taxable in my hands even if i'm getting 1% of the benefit the whole of the income becomes taxable in my hands a simple example in the exam question came is i have given the asset to a wife uh, to the servant i've given the asset to the servant the dividend income on that asset was being given to my wife only 10% only 10% 10% of the dividend income was being transferred to my wife which means irrevocable transfer benefit coming indirectly to me but only of 10% only of 10% how how much is taxable the whole 100 is taxable the whole 100 is taxable in whose hands my hands it will become taxable in my hands not in my wife's hands not in the servant hand everything will become taxable in my hands yes or no yes or no yes if this is not happening then i'm coming and saying i've opened up a business i opened up a business in that business i am planning to give salary to my spouse salary to my spouse income tax comes and says if you have substantial interest in your business if you have substantial interest in your business and a word of caution it is not substantial interest of yours alone it is you along with your relatives you along with your relatives whose relatives here again left side again left side of the family so me along with the left side of the relatives of the family are holding more than 20% in the business in that case if that business ends up giving salary to my spouse to my spouse whatever salary you give to the spouse will become taxable in my hands under the what head same head under the same head if it was taxable as salaries for her it is salaries for me if it is taxable as ifos for her then it will be ifos for me then it will be ifos for me please be extremely careful about this yes this will not apply in case i am able to prove that my spouse is having technical knowledge and skills to do the service if she has technical knowledge and skills then it will not be taxable if not it will be taxable it will be taxable at the same time please understand what is getting clubbed in my hands is not the money it is the income it is the income which means standard deduction to my wife has to be given then only it comes to me then only it comes to me so if i am giving 1 lakh rupees of salary to my wife what will be clubbed in my hands is only 50000 rupees is only 50000 rupees because what is to be clubbed is income not money not money clear with me clear with me if this is not happening i am coming and saying rahul i have a house i am sorry i have any property i have any property i have planned to give this property to my spouse for inadequate consideration if that is not happening i am planning to give it to my son's wife for inadequate consideration income tax says if you are going to transfer any property to your spouse or to your son's wife for inadequate consideration whatever income which comes to the son uh, son's wife or the spouse will become clubbed in your hands will become clubbed in your hands with an exception that this does not cover hp this does not cover hp why does it not cover hp because hp is covered under hp chapter hp is covered under hp chapter any other asset is what i'm talking about any other asset is what i'm talking about with me yes rahul i am not doing that also i am transferring this asset to anyone else for my spouse benefit or for my son's wife benefit that is also club so now they're talking about transfer of asset happening to third party for the benefit of my spouse or for the benefit of my son's wife then also it is clubbed in my hands then also it is clubbed in my hands yes sir yes sir last item i'm coming and telling rahul i've opened up a business in the business my spouse is contributing some money my spouse is contributing some money i'm using that money along with my money and running my business and 
running my business income tax comes and says boss if you have got money from your spouse and you are using that money for your own business then whatever profit comes will be split between both the partners when i say partner spouse life partners will be split between both the life partners but the proportion split will happen using the opening capital will be happening using the opening capital i will only look at the amount of contribution the opening capital has for my spouse and myself and myself which means in the question if they come and say that rahul i have contributed 1 lakh rupees i have contributed 1 lakh rupees my spouse has also contributed 1 lakh rupees at the opening balance at the opening balance then during the year i put in an extra 2 lakhs and my spouse put nothing and my spouse put nothing current year profit is 60000 how much if the current year profit is 60000 rahul the 60000 will be split between me and my spouse in what ratio 1 is to 1 it will be split into 1 is to 1 i will not bother about the 2 lakh rupees I will not bother about the 2 lakh rupees because it is a current year contribution. It is a current year contribution. And please understand, all these only happen if it is a sole proprietorship. It does not happen if it is a partnership. Because Rahul, share of profits in a partner is exempt from tax. So, you club not exempt. You club not exempt. This only applies in a sole proprietorship concern. It does not apply in a partnership concern. Yes or no? Yes or no. Last item they are coming and saying, boss, if you have any kind of child which is a minor in nature, any income coming to the minor child is taxable in the hands of the parent whose income is higher. The parent whose income is higher. The moment you have decided a parent whose income is higher, this parent will continue forever. This parent will continue forever unless and until there is a decision to divorce. Unless and until there is a divorce, uh, decision to divorce. Until such time, the parent which has been decided in the first go will be always the parent. Any income of the child will be clubbed in the hands of the parent whose income is higher, regardless of who gives the money, regardless of who gives the money. But whenever you club some child's income to the parent's income, you can claim an exemption of 1500 rupees maximum. You can claim an exemption of 1500 per month per annum. Per annum. It is 1500 per annum per child. 1500 per annum per child. The two items which are not taxable in the hands of parents are if the income is coming to a disabled child or the income is coming because of his skills. Because of his skills. Any of these two cases it will not be taxable in the hands of the parent. Yes, sir. Yes. To conclude this chapter, the chapter also comes and clarifies that boss, when it comes to the incomes which you have, the first level of income is what is clubbed in the hands of the transferor. The second level of income is not clubbed in the hands of transfer the only exception to this is the clubbing of income uh, sorry only exception to this is the minor income in minor income even second level or subsequent level incomes can also be clubbed in the hands of the parent but anywhere else accretion of income is not club accretion of income is not club now what do you mean by accretion of income it is here if aishwarya is gifting 10000 rupees to her husband and she invests the same in an fd for 7 percent interest the interest of 700 rupees will be clubbed in the hands of aishwarya because this is transfer of money this is transfer of money used for the purpose of generating an income. Used for the purpose of generating an income. Assuming this 10,700 fully is deposited again in an FD. Is deposited fully in an FD and she has earned how much? She has earned 750 rupees. I will only get 700 rupees as taxable in the hands of Aishwarya. The 50 will become taxable in the hands of the new spouse. Will be in the hands of the spouse. In the hands of the spouse. Because second level of income cannot be clubbed. Second level of income cannot be clubbed. If this scenario change panita, if Aishwarya had given this money to her child, to her child, 700 would have been taxable in the hands of Aishwarya, 50 also would have been taxable in the hands of Aishwarya because for a minor child, every income is clubbed in the hands of the parent except for handicapped, specialized, except for handicapped and specialized. At the same time, please understand, let's assume that the child has earned 1 lakh rupees from singing competition. From what? Singing competition. This 1 lakh rupees will be clubbed in the hands of minor. Rahul, this 1 lakh rupees was deposited in an FD and 10% interest was earned on it. 10,000 rupees came in the bank account. This 10,000 rupees will be clubbed in the hands of. Even if the money was specialized, the clubbing was done on the interest income which was not specialized. Which was not specialized. So, even the second level of income can be clubbed even if the first level of income is not clubbed. Even if the first level of income is not clubbed. Yes. Yes. And the final conclusion of the chapter, they come and say about cross transfers. They are coming and saying that boss, I give money to my family's wife, brother's wife, any family's wife, any family's wife and my 
family is also giving it to my wife this is a cross transfer happening in that case to the level of common income interest will be clubbed in the hands of respective transferors will be clubbed in the hands of respective transferors if there is any excess the excess will remain with the same person excess will remain with the same person in this example what is happening there is 45 and 54 so in this case what will happen the 45 will be clubbed in the hands of both V and brother and balance 9 will be remaining with brother's wife balance 9 will remain with the brother's wife yes or no yes. so no careful about it yes when you talk about clubbing clubbing also talks about losses therefore if you have a loss from clubbing clubbing from losses also clubbed yes any kind of income from loss will also be clubbed in the hands of the owners respective owners respective owners in an exam please be extremely careful assuming a question comes where it comes and says that the husband has transferred some money to her wife as a gift as a gift the first instance which will come to your head is i have personally it is exempt which is right which is right but if after that they come and say that this money was deposited somewhere and they got some interest income or some fd income or some capital gain income while gift like it was exempt the clubbing will still apply the clubbing will still apply so please understand both are together both are together just because you have exempted the income does not mean that the clubbing will not apply the clubbing will also have to apply please be extremely careful about that yes yes sir. yes you have to look for both the conditions you have to look for both the conditions condition number one in ifos is exempt but condition number two of clubbing is applicable yes applicable yes or no yes or no yes now when you talk about minor child minor married daughter is also covered in the minor child so there is no problem whatever income comes to the minor married daughter will also be clubbed in the hands of parent whose income is higher parent whose income is higher clear yes this is your end of step number six this is the end of your step number six moving to step number seven talks about losses talks about losses in losses i am not going to discuss the whole chapter i am only going to look at one table I'm going to go and look at one table. I told you when you look at losses table, you only have to look from the perspective of losses, not from the perspective of income. So let's look from the perspective of losses. Going to the head of income, the first head of income is salary. Can you have a loss from salary? No. So therefore ignore. Next. HP. HP. Can you have a loss from HP? Yes. yes. If you have a loss from HP, it can be set off against first HP loss, uh, first HP income, first HP income. Assuming you don't have HP income, you can set off against any other head of income any other head of income up to a maximum of 2 lakhs in this the order of priority to always set off is salaries order of priority is always to set off with salaries a understand salary set off can only happen if hp income is not there hp income in the adana first adana first set off against hp income if that is not there move to salaries up to a maximum of 2 lakhs rahul if that is also not there you can carry forward for a period of 8 years return filing not mandatory return filing not mandatory then i'm coming and saying rahul it is not hp loss it is a PGBP loss. I am saying if PGBP loss, there are multiple losses. First loss is speculative loss. Can be set off against speculative income. If speculative income is not enough, carry forward and set off against speculative income. Period is return filing. If you don't have speculative loss, you have scientific research loss. Uh, sorry, specified business loss. Specified business loss. Only specified business income. Raul, not there. Carry forward. Period. Infinite specified business loss infinite period return filing mandatory return filing mandatory Raul that is also not there you have unabsorbed depreciation unabsorbed depreciation can be set off against first business income if that is not happening then any head other than salaries Raul I am not having that also carry forward period of carry forward unlimited I can carry forward and set off against any income other than salaries any income other than salaries Raul please understand when we did HP income uh, when we did HP loss when we did HP loss if you are carrying forward HP loss future years you can only set off against HP income you can only set off against HP income you cannot set it off against any other income only in carry forward years but unabsorbed depreciation is an exception you can set it off against any head other than salaries in the future years also in the future years also return filing is not mandatory Raul I don't have unabsorbed depreciation now I have normal PGBP loss what do I have? Normal PGBP loss. This normal PGBP loss will be first to set off against PGBP income. Then will be set off against any head other than salaries. Now that is also not there. Carry forward and set off against. Carry forward and set off against only PGBP income. I told you carry forward le, only same head of income you can set off except for unabsorbed depreciation. Except for unabsorbed depreciation. So PGBP loss will be carried forward and set off only against PGBP income. Period of carry forward. Return filing. Mandatory. Hey, understand whenever I use the word return filing, I don't mean you have to file a return. I mean you have to file return on time. 
If to file return on time round na later file panna loss pochu kali. Cannot be eligible. Cannot be eligible. Yes or no? Yes. Next you have something called as capital gains. Capital gains there are multiple gains. One is called as long term capital gains. Short term capital gains. Rahul I have long term capital gains. I can set it off against long. I have long term capital loss. I can set off against long term capital gains. Rahul I don't have long term capital gains. Direct carry forward and set off only against. Long term capital gains, period of carry forward, 8 years, return filing on time, mandatory. Rahul, I have short term capital loss, can be set off against both long term and short term. Rahul, I don't have capital gains, carry forward, in carry forward year, both, again both, hey, same head only, no. So, again both long term and short term, period of, hold, uh, period of carry forward, return filing, mandatory, return filing. Mandatory. In all these scenarios, please understand if you have a loss which is from an exempt income, loss from an exempt income that will be ignored. Loss cannot be set off against your special incomes like okay. casual income and unexplained income. Casual income and unexplained income. These two things cannot have a loss set off. These two things cannot have a loss set off. You can set off against capital gains. You can set off against capital gains. Rahul, I have business loss. Can I set off against capital gains? Yes. Rahul, I have business loss. Can I set off against speculative income? Yes. Rahul, I have business loss. Can I set it off against scientific business, uh, specified business income? Yes. Can I set it off against speculative income? Can I set it off against salaries? Can I set it off against HP? You can do that. You can do that. Yes or no? Yes or no? Last is your IFOS income. In IFOS, they are coming and saying, boss, there are one kind of loss which is called as your loss from owning and maintaining horse races. If you have a loss from owning and maintaining horse races, it will be adjusted only against owning and maintaining horse races. I don't have that income, Rahul. Carry forward. Set off only against owning and maintaining. Period of carry forward. Return filing. Mandatory. Rahul, I don't have that. I have a normal IFOS loss. I have a normal IFOS loss. I can. Set off against IFOS income. Rahul, I am not able to set off against IFOS income. Set off against any other head, including salaries. Including salaries. Rahul, that is also not there. That's all. No carry forward. Lost there itself. Lost there itself. You cannot have a carry forward. Return filing. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yes or no? Yes, this is your set off and carry forward chapter. Yes or no? Yes. Since we have completed clubbing and set off, let's also discuss about their 115 BAC. In clubbing, there is one item called this 1500 rupees. Are not eligible under 115 BSC. Not eligible under 115 BSC. Coming to your capital gains, uh, coming to your set off and carry forward, there are two rules here. One rule they are coming and saying is, boss, if you have a loss pertaining to any income which I have told not eligible, if you have a loss from any item which I have told not eligible, like for example, additional depreciation or unabsorbed depreciation, scientific business loss from, uh, sorry, not scientific business, specified business loss, all those things will be ignored. All those things will be ignored. Second rule they are coming and saying, when it comes to HP, you were permitted to set off the HP income against any head other than, uh, sorry, any head up to 2 lakh rupees. That condition has been taken away. That condition has been taken away, which means if you are under 115 BSC, if you have a loss from HP, it can only be set off against income from HP. If you don't have income from HP, carry forward and set off against income from HP. That's all is the logic.